inflation, the cost of goods and services, house prices up, car prices up, food prices up. How do you navigate a society that is in a cycle of inflation? Well, one simple answer could be to simply not buy anything. The minimalism way of life may actually help you relieve you of stress during inflated times. Why? Well, because if you're not going to buy anything, do you care if their prices go up? Now, certainly from a long-term perspective, uh, if you are in a cycle of looking for a house, which I've been for the past couple of years, uh, it, it may be a little bit tougher uh, because you're stuck with the idea of renting or buying at a higher price. So either way, you're going to pay a higher price of rent or you're going to pay a higher price to buy a house. So I have empathy there. Uh, or if your car is at life expectancy, I have over 200,000 miles on my car, but thank God everything's been going well so far. But if, if you're, if you have over 10 year, 10 year old car and 200,000 miles, you may have no choice, but I guess this message would be for those who have bought a house in the past uh, five years, they have a relatively new car. I want to encourage you that, you know, you should be doing great because you don't need to buy much. Now, again, you know, it's like uh, you're doing better than me in that sense with regards to if you don't really need to be in the market for a house or car. And I believe that 90% of what people own, they don't use. I believe that possessions weigh a person down regardless of economic circumstance. You know, Elon Musk had made that statement that uh, possessions weigh a person down. He had sold uh, his houses and uh, most of his possessions, but he's still a, a rich uh, person. So I understand it's hard to take that from someone who has m many options. But I would say, you know, one thing that may help some people, again, I have empathy, it may not help everyone. Like I'm in a certain cycle where uh, I feel like I'm probably going to get screwed a little bit one way or another with, with a house or car. But one thing I just want to encourage you that I've been living as a minimalist for five years. And I sold my house five years ago. I got rid of all my belongings and I'm glad I did. You so say, why are you glad you sold your house five years ago? You would have been better off buying a house because times are inflated. Well, no. Why? Because I didn't want to live in New Jersey. And when you are going into a new area, you shouldn't buy right away because what's even more important than home equity is life equity, uh, making wise decisions, not rushing. What's more important than buying stuff at a cheap price is building your life so that the price of stuff does not determine your happiness in a major way. Now, look, to be fair, all of us want to get a good deal. Uh, these inflated prices hurt all of us because... You know, all of us want to see um, cheaper prices. But at, at the same time, I remember five, ten years ago when prices were cheaper, people complained that the economy wasn't growing fast enough. And it was like, oh, we need this economy to grow faster, 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 more, more. Well, now they got what they want. Now it's growing faster because when prices are low, that means the economy is growing slow. And when prices are high, that means uh, the economy is growing fast. And so what does society need? Balance. What do people struggle with? Balance. So, you know, you're going to hear both people talk out of both sides of their mouth, uh, politically, economically, and in every other way. So again, you know, when it comes to all that, be a minimalist too, with regards to how much conversation you get in about this. You know, like I said, I can think of someone who bought their house real cheap, uh, you know, eight years ago and they come, you know, and now they complain about the economy then and they complain about the economy now. Well, you wouldn't have bought the house cheap if it wasn't for that. And now your house is worth more. So what people want just to complain, but I don't want to get into that conversation. I want to encourage those, even myself, I want to encourage that as much as we have an anxiety, a rush in our spirit to buy something to go to the next season of our life. 
we must uh, ask the Lord and we must self um, produce discipline to keep us focused on one day at a time to remember our daily routine, which has very little to do with what we own is our life. Remember that a house, a car, a, 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 a item, while it may be cherry on the top, it is not the meat and potatoes of your life. Remember that your health is your wealth. Remember that if you have to chase something, you'll probably never stop. Uh, remember that when you don't need much, you can focus on yourself much. Uh, remember that if you're not in the market to buy a lot of things, don't worry too much about the prices. And remember, even if you are in the market to buy a lot of things, you have found freedom, a level of freedom, in a level of minimalism. Not chasing things, not completing your life with things, but completing your life with self-care, with time management, with the grace of God, with healthy relationships. This is the message, the minimalist guide, the best life guide to navigating through the inflated times that we are in. And remember, if we go to a period of long deflation, it will be the opposite. Remember, everything bothers people when it happens for uh, a considerable, consistent period of time. You know, because everyone gets tired of everything. Remember, you'll probably get tired of your house. Remember, you'll probably get tired of your car. Remember, you'll probably get tired of your relationship. Remember, water torture is when a little bead of water is dripped on a person's forehead, not for one day, not for two days, but for 200 days. Remember, it's the, the drip of water. It's the, it's the constant state of something that aggravates us, that we want something different. Remember, we must discipline and navigate around this heavy anxiety, this stressful period. Remember, things could be a lot worse. Uh, remember okay, that prices could be so cheap, people wouldn't even be paying those cheap prices. And the economy could be depressed where there were no shops open, there were no demand. You know, the opposite of inflation is deflation, meaning there's a lot of stuff, but no demand. And there's no demand because people don't have the resources. Now we're in a period of inflation. There's very little supply and there's a lot of demand. That means a lot of people have resources. Because if a lot of people were not willing to pay these prices, the prices wouldn't maintain. So remember in life, we want balance. I hope that this economic education helped you. Because to me, I believe it's all wisdom. What should you believe? Whatever you want. Because am, am I trying to convert you? Not at all. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to show up to my life, speak wisdom to myself, and uh, make the most of each day. If this video helped you, click the thumbs up. You want to support the channel, click the blue join button. Leave a positive comment below. Share the video. Check out my playlist with thousands of free, free videos. Thank you again for watching. Thank you to all my members. Peace.